fantastic day today. Now in this video, it's just a really easy video, um, but I thought I'd do a video at the same time because um, I had a wonderful gift of a dragon fruit cactus cutting through the post from a wonderful subscriber here on YouTube. Now the subscriber prefers to remain anonymous, so um, thank you so much for sending me this wonderful cutting. You know who you are, absolutely wonderful. I do have a dragon fruit plant already, but it's a really tiny one that I bought that was just a few seedlings, and it's got bigger over the years, but it's still really tiny. But as you can see, this is a lovely big cutting here and I thought it'd be a great opportunity to do a video to show you how you can pot up a dragon fruit cactus cutting and how to get it to root so as you can see this cutting here now the subscriber said to me he's had it drying off in his uh, greenhouse for about three months and um, always when you do a cactus cutting and a succulent cutting always wait till it forms a hard callus at the end as you can see here because otherwise if you pop them up if you just take a cutting and pop them up straight away they're very prone to rot so obviously this has been three months so it's formed a thick hard callus there as well and you can you can use if you want to use some rooting hormone dip it in rooting hormone you can um, in this case I'm not going to apparently the subscribers has put a little bit of rooting hormone at the bottom already so um, but you can do if you prefer to do that so obviously the most important thing as with any cactus cutting again I must must really state this always wait till it forms a really thick hard um, callus um, a thick skin at the bottom so there's no chance of any rot or um, any germs or bacteria getting in a fungal disease now normally when I do my cactus and succulent cuttings I would use um, a much sandier mixture soil mix than what I'm using with this dragon fruit one the reason being is that most cacti and succulents like a really well drained soil mix so I'd usually use like one part John Inns one part perlite and one part sand but in this case with the dragon fruit plant as I also do with my epiphyllums as well and my other rainforest cacti like the sclumbergeria um, I prefer to use a bit more of a, a soil um, based compost rather than more perlite and more sand because they do like more of a humid atmosphere and they also like the soil to be kept slightly moist at all times even in the winter time so obviously I don't want to use such a dry desert type soil with this cactus cutting with the dragon fruit so what I've done is I've got um, a one part per, uh, sorry one part John Inns number one and then I've just added just a small handful of perlite to it just to give it a little bit of aeration so I haven't really added any sand there's sand already in this mix so I'm having it obviously a lot more of a, of a richer soil mix than I'd normally use for the desert cacti but use whichever soil you prefer to use say with the dragon fruit they do like more of a, of a moist soil than the desert one so in this case I find just Johnny's on its own with just a little bit of perlite does the job now what you want to do is fill a pot that, that's about the size of your cactus cutting. Obviously when it goes in, you want to actually get it just to go about one to two inches above there. You don't want to put it in too deep because obviously when it hasn't formed roots, it's going to be damp and it could rot. So basically just enough to cover it probably about two inches up to about there. Gently place it onto the top of the soil like so. And then what I'm going to be doing next is going to be taping soil all around it and then tucking it in neatly like so. Filling it in all around the sides. And then you continue to do this until you're up to there. So I'm going to um, carry on doing this now. Now once you've potted it all up and you've tucked it all in neatly, um, what I'd recommend doing is obviously it hasn't got any roots. So I wouldn't just go and soak it all with water straight away. What I'm going to do just to encourage it to send out some roots is just keep the top of the soil very, very slightly moist. So rather than just watering it straight in, I'm just going to give it a bit of a spray. Keep the outside spray like so. I'm just going to spray it lightly and that's it. And then I'm just going to keep the top of the soil just very lightly moist until I see signs of new growth. I actually treat dragon fruit cuttings exactly as I would epiphyllum because I find them very similar in their requirements. So again, keep the soil just lightly moist to encourage it to send out roots. You'll soon know after a couple of months or so when it started to take root because the cactus cutting will start to actually fill up, it will fatten out and it will also send some new growth from the top as well. And then you can sort of continue watering as normal. 
Also with the dragon fruit plants, the cactus, is they don't like to very cold conditions because if it drops below 10 Celsius, I find that they do scar quite easily and also very prone to rotting. So unlike the desert cacti, make sure you keep these in a warm place during the winter um, and obviously away from drafts and definitely frost or anything else. So keep it a lot warmer than you would your desert cacti. And um, there you go, you can't really go wrong. It's so easy to do. So there you go, guys. I just want to send you loads of love and loads of happiness and tons of happy growing as always from Ireland. And until the next video, bye.